video we me for video we o pade bi o tai etu kwan pa ya no ko a lot of african countries is wo tutu kwan ko so e ko twitter videos ba o tu ame o tu kwan pa me fa sa video we e wo ni page so na wa ko aye secondary school bi a o ye one lady bi interview very brilliant lady eh yen ko tie nkomo a lady ni di ye no gena dwuma bi ebruta no obusa ni bi bi fa no ho se school na wo gena mu no wo ye product of the school but one time who or more our science ne quiz ne one why not say I then who are seventy saying Gellens answer what the man a yard brand you know we am grab a show you could um, organize the agric blog so it's an agric class I told people that I am a student of the science senior high school they say, what school is that it's not popular we've not seen it in science and math quiz why about science and math please <laughs> gosh let me ask you a question is tell me why don't ask me you see the science and math quiz is a show is that what it's a show but then this school my school mm. it is not for show i'm surprised you of all the people you're asking me such a question <laughs> as a noble of this institution you should know that um, the main objective or the main aim of this school is to produce is to produce nobles to correct the mistakes that those science and math quiz people are doing hey it is quiz no means for sure charlie i'm serious it's not meant to, for the, sure. to correct what the the, the mistakes that's what are doing that those science and math quiz the people they are doing the harm they are creating to their country the, their schools yeah they are creating science uh, harm with science and math why do you, you say that let me explain so that you understand you see <laughs> in such schools they have students that are biologically they are biologically good in terms of academics they are biologically um endowed with the knowledge it, it's their field. Those people that go for the science and math. Yes, it's not. It's not like the teachers that make them. They they, they are bring the mind. They they, they are like it's in their blood. It's in their genes. So it's not somebody that forces them to do it. But then it's with them. They are born with it. No, but so why don't you have? Uh, no, 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 no. They won't come to this school. Because in this very country, we have institutions that were built by colonial minds that, that have all the required facilities what for learning. Institutions? institutions like Presec, Prempe, those big, big institutions, those big names. But then, if... They were built by colonial minds. Yes. As in, as in what? You see, they, they, they were not built by a black man who will not sow a seed that he will not leave to reap. And the black man will never waste his time on a project that he will not gain benefits from. How do, how do you prove that? You see, look at those new institutions that are being established. They Take a good look. They are not you wait and compare them to those colonial schools. You see a vast difference. The school has been built all right. But look at the infrastructure. Let me ask you. If you were to be an academically good student, and then you are told to choose a school, which school you choose, you automatically go in for those colonial schools because they have everything you can you dream of. I'm not talking about those that paid to go there, but rather I'm talking about those that genuinely deserve to be there. So there are people who pay to be there. That's so what we don't talk plenty about that one. I say <laughs> we know that there are people who have paid to be there. And as I'm talking, you see, there are people out there, they know them. So they're not as for me, they, I paid to be there. And in the same way, then there are people like I I deserve to be there. So wait, oh, the conversation is this. Those science and math people who feature in the in the competition, yeah. they are people who are already academically, they are wired academically, biologically, it is in their DNA. Yes. But the school will not tell you such. The school will tell you that we have teachers that have prepared and trained our students for such courses. That is true. No, if that is true, then it means that GES is one, a biased and a failed institution. Why? 
in the sense that if it is really true and if it is really really true then why is that GES has recruited superhuman teachers for this institution but they recruited extremely dumb teachers for other institutions if they say all the teachers that they are giving out write an exam write the test then it means all teachers should be equal and then they should be able to produce genuine intelligent students so they should be able to teach everyone to be the same perfect <laughs> that's exactly what i'm trying to say <laughs> so why is it not happening like that amazing if, if you look at it clearly then we can proudly say i can boldly say and testify to the fact that if it is true then it means that the teachers do not contribute to the success rate of the students but if a school is, is, is fortunate enough to gain an academically endowed student they pick that student up add a little polishes and then they gamble with the student for a show yes uh, and correct the mistakes that have been made by those big men you see when you put ghana on the table dissect its parts open it up you see that those people occupying big big positions they are the same people from those big institutions and then they are the same people who steal who are corrupt stealing the money stealing ghana's money building their own companies and then they sit down and look for honest people to come and run them for run it for them <laughs> <laughs> it, it's funny when you think about like when you sit down and think about it, it's actually funny but agenda here is to produce nobles nobles like yourself my god i'm a noble che, what you are doing alone is having an impact in the education system you see the main objective is not to produce lazy people not to produce corrupt students but rather to produce people who will be able to go out there make an impact people who will be able to change the corrupt methods we are not part of the story of corruption when you come to Kwame Nkrumah senior high school our, our core values is discipline integrity hard work and excellence no matter what you do we excel so talk not about NSMQ we are talking about the quality of the goods being produced if I'm a queer student I'm being groomed I perfect everything. I go out there on telly. I'm perfect. But then I come out and I'm not able to meet the standard of community. What good has the school done to me? But in here, we don't look as such. We make time for every student. We make sure every student is up to standard. And then we are all able to go out there. Not to become flops of society. But then to make perfect people for the society. Wow. Na unum awa seme wum. O we this interview no. Ana a man for the comment table, social media comment table no so I am your wow ko kind comment ni a dear day. And wasan swaba back beam with four minutes video from the same page ya uh, high school page or no. Let me too much. Ubet me the comment aba. And some my lady can wood you know say. As I was reading the comments, I came across a certain comment that stated that I said the National Science and Math Quiz is a bogus show. No, no, but are you aware it's, a social, it's, it's social media? No. So, oh, you, oh, but, but, you talk, talk. That, that's talk. not what I said. Okay. What did you say? I think some people misunderstood what I said. Mm. I never said the show is a bogus show. Okay. What I said was, the National Science and Math Quiz, it should not be used as a benchmark to determine whether a school is good or not. Okay. It's not bogus, but no, then it should no, not no. be used to say that this school is better than this one. That's what you said. That's what I said. Yeah. We let experiment. Mm. Experiment what? You see, let's take, let's say we have school A and school F. School A is known to be a grade A school, and then school F is a grade D school. So it's a grade F school. <laughs> it's not grade D, it's grade D, it's grade F. Okay. Then, let's take the teachers from school A, Move all of them to school F. And then we also take the teachers from school F and remove all of them to school A. So that they should go and do the magic. Simple. And if the things don't work like that, then it means that, as I said, TES is being biased. I need sponsorship to facilitate this course. I'm interested. <laughs> it's being biased. Since they are the ones producing or recruiting teachers for all the schools in Ghana, how can you say you are giving magicians to this school and then you are leaving the others behind? It awesome. shouldn't be done. 
I, th that's why I'm saying that it cannot and it should not be used as a benchmark. It cannot. That is what I am saying. Hey! <laughs> no, that, that is what I am saying. <laughs> okay. It cannot be used as a benchmark. Yes. And it should not be used as a benchmark. No, no, no. no. <laughs> but then to you watching, let's say we all wake up one day and then there's nothing like the National Science and Math Quiz. <laughs> it does not exist. What is Ghana losing? How does it affect Ghana? Let's try and answer this question. Let's think deep and answer. When I turn, when I turn, immediately I turn, the first person I see is gosh. I mean, I don't he know cannot now. run no. away from the question. <laughs> How am I supposed to Automatically, know? I'll ask you. No, no, me, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if you ask them, they know, they will, they will put it in the comment section. You see, our, our leaders, our heads of institution, our administration, they go up and down to solicit for funds, to invest into the National Science and Math Quiz, to prepare about five to seven students to go represent the school, only to produce students who are able to memorize facts, scientific facts like that, and algebra, and then we clap for them. But then let's say we take the same investment, and then we invest into another program, a program where the hands are being put to work. And then let's say we produce toys, Christmas toys, and then they are being sold during Christmas to we okay. to, yes, to the children. And how does that want to affect Ghana? What effect? frame <laughs> I, I, I want to make sure that they understand. This time I don't want anybody to take my words out of contrast. I don't want them to misunderstand me. And at the comment session, what I could see was that most of the comments were from the alumni and the youth. I think probably from some of the other institutions. And they were saying what I was saying were empty words. Please, with all due respect, this one goes to you, the youth. When it comes to critical thinking, let us raise our standard a little bit. Just a little bit. 